What's going on guys? This is Will from Strive and today our topic we're really going to be talking about pre-game meals either leading up to workouts or practice or even games mainly. Okay, again, it really breaks my heart when players work so hard and put so much time into their strength and conditioning, their skill work, their film sessions, only to come up short because they didn't properly prepare right before the game. So today I'm gonna take you step by step on how to prepare for your pre-game meal. Just to know guys, I want everybody to know that everybody is different. And what you're really gonna have to do is you're gonna have to experiment and see what works best for you. But for the most part, 90% of our athletes have seen great results with the current uh, methodology and the current way of eating before a game, before practice. Um, let me just say that any experiments that should be done should definitely be done through the, uh, at the off season just to see what your body likes, doesn't like, what it digests well and not well because we don't want to wait till in season to have to discover what our body likes and doesn't like. Okay. Another note that um, everybody should understand is that the body is very smart. To the body, it prioritizes things very well. And whatever is happening inside the body will always take priority onto what's happening outside the body. So say for instance, you're eating something that's hard to digest, well the body's gonna put that much more energy into digesting the food that you just consumed rather than the basketball game that you wanna score 30 points in. So I want everybody to remember that. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off by talking about the basic macronutrients, which are proteins, carbs, and fats. Okay, and when we look at carbs, especially when it comes to uh, sports performance and pregame meals, the primary carb source that we want to go to is primarily vegetables, fruits, and starches. So starches like sweet potato, starches like quinoa, those things don't spike our blood sugar all the way up and then shoot it all the way down, leaving us tired and sluggish for the game. Then when we look at protein, we want to look at things like meats, we want to look at things like eggs, and we want to look at things like beans, although there's a wide range of different proteins that you can choose from. Then finally, we're gonna look at fats. And fats are things like avocados, nuts, and oils. So before we go into any of this, just a side note, that fats are a little bit harder to digest. And while they're extremely important in our diet, the closer we get to the game, the more fats we wanna avoid so that our body doesn't spend all its energy trying to process that fat rather than putting it into the game. Okay, so I'm gonna give you three different scenarios depending on what you like to do before a game. You have your own ritual, but I can give you little guidelines of depending on what works for you. So, three hour mark before the game. This was my favorite because I like to uh, feel nice and digest, um, uh, maybe go to the bathroom right before the game and feel uh, good and strong and ready to go. So what I'm really gonna look for here is one to two palms of protein, okay? And I want that protein to be roughly the thickness of a deck of cards. Okay, so it's not like a piece of salami or coleslaw. I'm looking for high quality protein. If you're female, you wanna look for one palm of protein. If you're male you want, uh, and an athlete, you definitely wanna look at two palm fulls of protein. Whether that's chicken breast, whether that's a little bit of steak, depending on what you like and depending on what you feel is best for you. Second thing is we wanna make sure that we check off the boxes of our, um, of our vegetables and our fruits. So I might have a cup of sauteed spinach or maybe a salad along with some fruits that are not so high in the glycemic index, like berries. My favorite are blueberries and strawberries. I make a nice shake every single day, consisting of those fruits every day. Then I might want to have a little bit of nuts. How much? I usually like to use a thumbs uh, quantity. So just a few nuts is more than enough. And then finally, you've got to stay hydrated. We have to have enough water so that we're hydrated for the game, but not too much so that we have to go to the bathroom during the game. All right, here's the two hour mark now. So. What you can see, the first thing is that we've left out our fats. And the reason is, is because fats are hard to digest. So we've taken the fats out of it. We want to slightly decrease the quantity of food that we're consuming because it's only two hours before the game. We're looking anywhere in terms of protein intake of one palm full to one and a half palm fulls, depending on your weight, gender, and what gets you satiated easily. Then we want to look at either vegetables or fruits. And of course, then we have to have the adequate water to keep ourselves hydrated. All right, so one hour mark. This was definitely not me, but I know some players that like to eat right before the game, but not eat too much. They like to feel like there's something in the tank and something that keeps them running. So if we're gonna go with the one hour mark, basically we wanna stay away from solids because solids are hard to break down, solids are hard to digest, and solids are gonna obviously put all that energy that we need on the court into digesting our food. So we're gonna go with the shake option. So for this, I'm gonna just choose, it doesn't have to be exactly this recipe, but half a cup of strawberries, half a cup of blueberries. You can either substitute one fruit for a vegetable. It might taste a little 
funny if you uh, are trying it for the first time. I'm gonna have some ice in there, optional if you want, two cups of water, and a scoop of uh, vanilla protein. It could be chocolate, really doesn't matter. Main thing about protein powder is if you know, do you respond well to dairy? If you respond okay to dairy, feel free to go with a whey option or some sort of uh, option that's dairy based. If not, go with a rice, go with a pea, go with some sort of vegan protein that's gonna leave you feeling strong and ready for the game. All right guys, so hopefully this has helped you a little bit in terms of what you should be looking for and what you should be eating for a game. Again, nothing is more sad than the guy who trains all summer long, has a great preseason, but then clocks out because they don't have enough nutrients or they're too full right before the game and doesn't perform their best in order to reap everything that they sowed during the summer and the preseason. So remember, we don't want to wait until the season to discover what our body likes and doesn't like. That's what the off season for. That's when you uh, gain new skills. That's when you discover more about your body and what it digests better to and what it doesn't. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and be more than happy to answer your questions.